Uh, I won my first medal uh, in six months after joining swimming. It's obviously a great feeling when you win a medal for your state. And I rejoiced it a lot. I used to swim for half an hour every day. And uh, once I won my medal, I took up the sport even more seriously. I started swimming one hour and then one and a half hours. And now I swim around six, seven hours a day. I think the love towards the sport and the passion towards that sport keeps me going every day. And then uh, to take whatever it comes positively, your victories and your losses, to take it positively and take it equally. I think that's also one major thing that keeps inspiring me and that keeps motivating me. A lot of people in the society thought that, you know, I won't become an international swimmer because it was very difficult for me to swim, stand and even walk. Uh, people thought that I will not be able to stand, I'll not be able to walk. But then uh, it was a bit challenging to prove these people wrong. Uh, I took it very positively, as I was telling you. Uh, I took the I took all those things very positively and I thought I have something to prove to this world and uh, the rest is just history. Uh, so we para-athletes give an equal and tough competition to the para-athletes as well as to the able body athletes. I would only ask people to support us more, give us little more facilities and encouragement so that we can perform even more better. With limited resources, we've been performing very well at the international level. I think with little more support and little more infrastructure, we'll be able to perform at greater heights. Uh, so I would like to thank and uh, mention about Indescent Bank here who have come forward and uh, help a few para-athletes under the Para-Champions program. Uh, I wish a change happens at least now.